Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting video to show you guys. I'm actually here at my boyfriend's closet, which is really satisfying in my opinion. So if you'd like to see um, my boyfriend's closet tour, which is what I'm going to be doing today, then please keep on watching. Um, fashion is something my boyfriend and I have in common, um, and I really appreciate his wardrobe. And um, he put a lot of work into like making it satisfying and accumulating the pieces that he loves. Um, so I'm going to go and pull out some of my faves. Um, by the way, he bought all these hangers from, I believe it is America. There's a couple of different sizes of hangers going on here. So we have the ones that are like this thinner kind of hanger, um, which are for t-shirts and stuff. And then he also has some like slightly thicker hangers that are for things like button up shirts. Um, so these are, as you can tell, like slightly sturdier hangers. This is like, it makes a difference to my boyfriend. Um, and then he has hangers like these ones, which are the thickest kind of one. And these are for like heavier pieces, like um, suits or like jackets and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to start from the beginning and pull out my faves. Um, he has a lot of like uh, vape, a lot of Subi, um, which is a brand, I think it's a Californian or Australian brand. Um, it's available at General Pants here. Um, this is one of my favorite pieces. It's from Comme de Garçons and it is this stripey long sleeve t-shirt. Um, I like the cute little heart here and I like the stripes. It gives me um, fun vibes from when Will and I started dating because I think he wore this on our second or third date um, and it was a really cute time and it was like fun, you know, the beginning of our relationship. So I really like this top and I love when he wears it. It's one of my favorites on him um, and it reminds me of that time. So yeah, that's a favorite. Um, I'm trying to keep the spacing nice because he puts in so much effort into the spacing. Um, this is one of my favorite Subi shirts. I really like a lot of his Subi shirts because a lot of them are like just plain but really soft. Um, but this is one that's like soft but also my favorite part of this is like it has this distressing going on. Um, which looks like, I don't know, some like moth ate it. It's old, you know. Um, and then this is the pattern on it. It's got like some flames on like the Subi logo. And also I really like this detail on the back. All the Subi things have the little tail and um, the design on the back, like the little logo. And I like that this is from the Travis Scott collection. So it has like the little flames coming up from the um, logo. I think that's a cute detail. Um, so yeah, that's probably my favorite Subi shirt he has. Um, I just really like the vibes from this one. Um, where did this come from? Oh no. Okay, it goes there. Um, next, uh, I'll show you my favorite item from Bape. Um, I'm not the biggest Bape fan, but my boyfriend is. And this is probably my favorite piece he has from Bape. It's from their Star Wars collaboration. So it has Darth Vader on the front. Um, it says, like, it's from a 40th anniversary collection. Um, it has a little Bape detail on the sleeve there. And it says Star Wars collaborate Bape on the back. Um, I like this because it's Star Wars. Um, this is also another one of my favorite pieces. Um, this one he wore to like New Year's Eve, maybe like two years ago. Um, it's another one from Subi and it kind of has this zebra or like, um, tiger print on the front. And I really like the, um, button up kind of front. He wears it buttoned up or sometimes he wears it open. And I think it looks really good both ways. Um, it's just like a little button up loose kind of summery shirt. And I like this for like, you know, a hot summer night. That's the vibes I get from it. Um, then we're going into like, so these are the t-shirts over here. Then we're going into like the button-up shirts. Um, my favorites are probably these two he had custom made from um, like a tailor that is in, um, um, it's a brand Marbo Shirt Sydney. Um, yeah, so these were custom made by a tailor that's um, in the Strand in Sydney CBD near Town Hall. Um, and I really like the, um, they have like Mother of Pearl buttons. You won't be able to see, but these have Mother of Pearl button details. One of these has like a normal um, cuff like that, where it's just got the buttons. And then one of them uses cuff links. It has like the French cuff detail. So, you know, he's got different options. And also the collars are different. Um, they're slightly different collars there as well. Um, okay, I'll show you my favorite jackets. I'll hang these back up. Um, my favorite denim jacket he has is this one. This one is from Subi and it's a black denim jacket. I just think it's really good and simple. Um, it's got a bit of like distressing details on it. Uh, and then it just looks like that on the back with the little Subi pluses and the details over here. I think that's a classic. And then my favorite jacket by far out of all of his jackets is definitely, oh, this one's really heavy. It's his leather jacket. I just think this looks so good. Um, it's a real classic. I think that all the details on it are perfect. If I was to like, like the vision, if I was to manifest the perfect leather jacket for him, this would be it. I love all the details. 
Um, it has little pockets over here. It's got little details on all the zips and stuff. It's really nicely done. Um, and so the back looks like it has even the little Sudi logo in the like metal detail there. I just think this is a really nice jacket and you got a really good deal on it as well. I think it was like 30 or 40% off. Um, and sometimes I like to steal them because I think it looks so good. Okay, we're going into his suits now. Um, so he has some suits here. This is his newest one and this one is from Burberry. Um, it is a brown suit. I'll just lift it up to show you. Um, but yeah, this is a brown one and I really am excited for his hair to grow up because I've, he shaved his hair like a couple of months ago and so he's only ever worn this with no hair and I'm excited for his hair to grow back um, to wear this because I've only seen him wear this bald. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really flattering suit on his like skin tone and stuff. I like the brown, it's like a little bit different. Um, and yeah, it's just a really beautiful brown suit. And he always feels confident when he wears it, which is my favorite part because he feels cute. And that's the most important thing when you're wearing an outfit is to feel good in yourself. And I like the confidence he has when he wears this suit. Um, this is another suit that I like. He has another blue suit over here, but this one is my favorite out of his navy suits. This one I like more because it's like a darker, shinier kind of blue. Um, this one, it's like a little pinstripe blue, um, but I like this one more. It's just like the depth in it. Um, it has like these red, kind of, not red, like burgundy tartan plaid stripes going through it. Um, another kind of peaked lapel, is that what it's called? Um, no, <laughs> what's this called? It's got a large lapel. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, he likes like a large lapel on his suit jackets. Um, and so yeah, that's his suit. Um, and then over here we have... Oh, by the way, these two are from MJ Bale, and then I think I mentioned that one was a Burberry one. This one, I'm not sure where it's from. I don't know. Wait, let me look inside. This one's also from MJ Bale, and this one is his, like, going out coat. And so it's grey, like a dark grey kind of colour, and it's really nice. Is this a peak lapel? Okay, so this is a peak lapel, and it looks like this. He really likes it. It's got the ticket pocket over here. This is what it looks like on the inside. And we haven't worn this in a while because we haven't. He hasn't worn this in a while because it's been locked down in Sydney recently and we just haven't gone out. But um, when he does wear it, it looks really good. And yeah, by the way, Will isn't in this video because he's camera shy, but he's behind the camera. Will, do you want to wave to the camera? You can do one of these if you like. Yeah, he's behind the camera, but he doesn't want to talk. So that's okay. Um, also, I'll show you this while we're here. This is um, Will's backpack. It's also from Subi, which is a brand that he loves. Um, and it has all these like leathery details and stuff on it, which is something he's into. And um, it's just a really classic, sturdy, kind of structured backpack. Um, it's really practical and you may have seen us wearing it in our recent um, vlog of us going to Supernova, um, which is like a comic convention. And yeah, it's got like these magnetic closures on the pockets on the side and it's just a really practical, large size backpack. Um, store your things. Also, I'll give a shout out to all the Star Wars collection going up on the top. Um, something else my boyfriend and I have in common is we're very into Star Wars and I really like his collection of stuff. Um, we both have this lightsaber. I have one of these at my place. Um, he has a lot of lightsabers up here. I might do a pop vinyl collection one time if you're interested. Um, you can ask me and I'll show you guys his pop vinyl collections. He has more coming in the mail at the moment. That's what we're waiting for. But I really like the ones that he does have. Kind of more Darth Vader y, dark side y kind of ones. I think they look really good. Um, he also has some other Star Wars collectibles over here. Um, and I think I'll show you the drawers now. Um, so, coming down over here into the drawers, um, we have this first drawer over here. Um, this drawer, he has a lot of pants. Oh, I forgot to show you guys on top of the drawers. I'll show you after the drawers. Um, so, in this pants drawer, he has stuff like his jeans, a lot of Subi, of course. Um, he has some chinos in case he ever wants, wants to wear chinos. He doesn't often. These ones are from politics, um, which he, I don't think he has anything else from politics. Um, but yeah, those are some chinos that he never wears. Um, actually, he wore them once and he actually looked really good. I remember that date. Anyway, these are some pants he has from Acne Studios. These are kind of a different fit, so these are kind of funky. Um, another pair of um, jeans down here from Subi. I like these ones. Yeah, I, I like these ones because they have the red detail on the inside. I think that's cool. On like the back of those, they have like the red Subi logo. Um, and then going down, the next drawer, I think it's some hoodies. Oh no, I'm wrong, the bottom one's hoodies. This one's the sweatpant drawer. So we have 
a lot of um, Subi. So he has like these sweatpants with like the Subi zips in like lots of colors. And then he also has these Nike sweatpants over here. Um, and then these ones are some Stone Island ones. These are really, really soft. Um, and then some more Subi ones, which are the same as these. So he has them in black. This other like muted kind of grayish, greeny kind of neutral color. Um, yeah, just lots of um, sweats because most of the time when he's not at the gym, he's wearing sweats. Um, in this bottom drawer, we have some hoodies. So um, this one is his newest piece. It's from Acne Studios. It's kind of like, I'm trying to take it out neatly. It's kind of like this navy color. Um, if you can see that, it's like not black, it's dark navy. Um, that looks really good. And then down the bottom here, we have this zip up, which I love to steal because it's so soft. This is from Acne Studios. No, that's from Stone Island. Anyway, that's a really snuggly drawer and I love to steal his hoodies out of there. Over here we have some accessories and some more jumpers. So some of the accessories he has here, um, he's got some ties and then he also has some like cufflinks as well. Um, my favourite tie is this one. This one is from Tom Ford and I just think it's got a really nice, like I like the small pattern on it and I like how the print is kind of like a smaller detail. I just think it's really classy and classic. And then these two cufflinks are actually two that I bought for him. He has some other ones, but these are the two that are in here at the moment. So he has these ones, which I can't remember what the brand is called. Calibre... I don't know what to call this brand. I don't have the logo to show you guys right now. But these are some little heads, and they have, like, a green detail eyes. Wait, do you want to come up close and look at the details on the eyes? Um, it's kind of dusty looking, but you get the vibes. They've got, like, little green eyes and I think they look really good and then these ones um I bought for him I think this is his birthday last year and these I got from Cartier and they're just some really simple cufflinks like this just to open more no it doesn't um but yeah those are really nice um those are from Cartier and they're like silver so these are some Acne Studios jumpers there's a grey one over here um this black one here he wore on some of our first dates and it's real classic he also has some Stone Island ones underneath Oh, just the one Stone Island one down there. Um, wait, let me pop these back on in the right order. I don't want to mess things up here because it's, it's not my closet and I'm grateful that Will let me film today. Um, Will was very excited to show you guys his closet. Um, down here we have some hoodies. Um, these ones are from Subi, so we have these really, these are really long and large. Like, I can wear this as a dress. So there's this grey one here and then underneath this is the Subi by Subi. It's just like a black one and those are some really large oversized hoodies in the bottom drawer we have a lot of t-shirts i'm not going to pull this out but um they're t-shirts from different comps my boyfriend is um a jiu-jitsu person and so he competes in jiu-jitsu competitions so those are all shirts from different jiu-jitsu comps and events and stuff like you know nationals and worlds or whatever um over here he has some things also on the top of this drawer as well um so by the way i think these drawers are like ikea ones um they look like ikea ones to me is that right he says yes um, this is my favorite scarf, probably one of my favorite accessories Will has. Um, he wants on our second date and it's a Gucci scarf. Um, he bought this in America when he was over there for Worlds one time and I just think it's really classy. I like that it's um, double sided, like if you wear it inside out it's just like the reverse. Um, I love the maroon on the navy, I just think it's really classy and beautiful. Um, and I like to steal this when he lets me because I think it looks really good. Um, over here we have some like pants, so uh, these up here are all his shorts. He has some um, board shorts from Subi. I don't really like this one as much. It's got like mounds all over it and it says like carefully. He likes them though, so it's his closet, it's his clothes. This one I do like though. This one is like some board shorts that have this like stripy zebra tiger kind of pattern in maroon. I like these. Um, these ones I don't really care for too much. They have like hands and smoke and funky designs. And these are some denim ones. So these are another pair of like Subi denim shorts. Will doesn't really wear these as much. He usually just goes for the board shorts when it gets hot here in summer. Um, but he's more of a pants person. So even in summer, he generally goes for pants anyway. And then Will, there's a surprise here. I actually hid this um, empty jar of Nutella when I ate a jar of Nutella one time. And I cleaned it out and then I hid the jar back here. And Will doesn't know about that, but I guess he knows about it now. Um, is there anything else I should show? Um, these are Will's um, shark slippers that I wore today. Um, I borrow them sometimes. He got these from Typo. Um, and they're just a classic staple in Will's wardrobe. Um, we can do a shoe collection one time if you'd like to see more shoes from Will. Um, one time, one of the fins fell off 
the shark and so I stitched him up myself so one of the sharks only has one fin but he's going strong with um, missing that fin um, those are the shark slippers I'll take you through my outfit Lululemon leggings um, Cause top the Uniqlo collab also I didn't even notice this till like recently the cause collab has this really cute detail on the sleeve how cute we'll have some cause pieces as well are they in here no I don't think they're in here I think they're through the wash right now but anyway that's all for Will's Closet Tour. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me any comments down below. Anything you'd like to see, um, like I can show you Will's Pop vinyls, um, his shoes, anything you want to see from him or me. Um, subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. I upload very frequently. Um, also, this makeup look will be up on my channel. Um, either it's up already or it's going to come up after this video. So you're going to see this like a really easy, it's just like a chill look. And get ready with me. You can watch that as well. And I'll catch you next time.